Tunley. What's good? It's your boy Roman Puss here with the one, the only, the only Gachima Zolo Zoro, whichever you choose to call him. He's the newest EX to show up for the fourth anniversary of One Piece Bounty Rush. Now, he, he obviously got his special feature. This Enema, Yzma, Eczema, whatever, Emma, whatever you choose to call it. Purple sword that look kind of good and kind of do all the things and stuff. So, homeboy's going to be flourishing. We're going to be going over a little bit of gameplay today. I want to give a special shout out to one of my, one of my only friend. The Onigachi Mazolo, like, number two fan or whatever. Because he like Blackbeard more or something. So, it's a shout out to him for the gameplay. Big appreciate it. That's my brother over there. So, make sure you go and follow him and give him a sub. I would appreciate it. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. But let's dive in and look, in, look into... What we're going to be working with for these games so let's dive in let's look at mamba support that we got going rolling and supporting all right ladies and gents this is our support that we got going 165 well support full hp attack with the typical luffy set now many of you guys will ask me for red metal recommendations to be honest he doesn't need cooldowns because his cooldowns are actually insane so i would focus primarily on damage increase and damage reduction on yourself now we're going to run attacker straw hats part of Mesia, captain new world with a little bit of worse gen and a Tish bit of defender and stuff. So obviously whale support 165. We are gonna be rolling. How I feel about him, I think this character so far from what I've seen. Oh my god, that looks beautiful. Just beautiful, phenomenal. We love to see it. Absolutely gorgeous. Like the, the, the Zolo shining. All right, you guys. One other thing I would like to talk about is the status effect. As you can see, Big Mom of Flames when she uses her basic attacks. Notice how I don't hit him during his skills. He still transforms and changes color when I do a flame him without having to actually hit him. So that's one thing I do want to capitalize off of and make sure you guys understand. Now it works for only damaging status effect moves. Now let's devil, let's check this out because I'll show you guys with anti heal, okay? Okay, now here I'm hybrid Kaido. We're about to go run up. Let me, I'm gonna have him at basic attack, get the anti heal afflicted on him. So he has anti heal, correct? Now he's gonna use his skill too. He's blue right now, so he should change to red in order to counter me. As you notice, he still remains blue. Therefore, it does not work on non-damaging status effects. So items like poison, a flame, venom, incinerate, all those will get him to change. Will get Onigashima Zoro to change color when he is using when they have their status effects inflicted on him. So you don't have to actually hit him. It just can be off any sort of damage he takes that was provided from that given character. So keep that in mind when you guys are fighting out in Onigashima Zoro. All right, ladies, we got ourselves game one up for bat. Couple big moms, some shanks. Now, that skill one, very short cooldown. We obviously demolish the shankses, so we're not concerned about him. King, will be whatever and stuff. Ooh, the perfect dodger to get the percentage damage on that. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Ooh, Oni Zolo. Now, I, this, like, I, again, I want to focus on things for metal recommendations. In my opinion, how I've been interacting and seeing the character, he's nothing shining while he's above 50% HP, but once he hits that below 50% HP, everything changes and he starts demolishing. Now, I'm not saying he's useless, but he's definitely very strong. And, it, like, he's very strong. He's, like, a 7 out of 10 while above 100 HP. And once he hits, like, 50% HP and below, Homeboy starts shining. That's where he bumps up to, like, a 9, 9 and a half. Homeboy gets pretty insane with this now. Oh, look at them damage. Oh, my God. Later, snitch. Oh, thank you, next. And you keep changing colors. I mean, the, the queen of color changing. Queen, only got you much. Zolo, you know, she's the queen of colors. Preach it. Now, his range is fantastic. Really utilize that range. I do want to focus. Look at how short these cooldowns actually are. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Oh, my God. There's a silver max right there. Wow. Okay. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, obviously, they're equal in terms because, hey, they had to bless the Snaggy lovers with allowing to get that Silver Max on that Zolo. Just saying. Now, there's potential we get another EX next week, but we don't know for sure. Who knows? We'll see. I don't know if they're being that full of any extra random surprises. I'm fortunate your downfall. You're not immune to status effects. But Big Mom, people like Big Mom, don't do enough damage in order to kill you particularly because you have that fat amount of damage reduction, 50% damage reduction, while you're below 50% HP. That is very strong as defenders in particular. And your percentage damage dealing is also very strong as defenders. So watch out for that. Look at that defense buff. Oh my god. We'd be shining. Oh, the knockbacks. Careful for those. We didn't now he didn't fully get that skill too up. He was about to get there, but you gotta watch out for that. So the nice part about Zolo is he's useful and good, but he's not game breakingly obnoxious. Now I'm I thoroughly enjoy having him in the game. I'll be I'll be honest. I'll be honest. He's a he like 
He's a good addition be with between the EX. The Ashra thing looks fantastic. It is a great looking ability. I do. I, Bandai did well with this. So the perfect dodge is a little extra bonus and stuff. So you got to be careful when you're fighting him to watch out for the perfect dodges. When you're playing him, I, again, as I said, the damage increase and damage reduction is kind of things you're going to want to be working with. And quite honestly, I almost feel like you could get away with running beast support, especially if you're running like Zoan. Well, you're almost always going to be changing colors. So I don't know if Zoan's absolutely necessary for you. But you could run beast support and give you increased basic attack damage while you're below a certain amount of HP. It'd be kind of insane. But in general, your skill 1 short cooldown, your skill 2 short cooldown, and you're doing plenty of damage. So you're going to be shining pretty well. Okay, thank you. Oh my god. Oh, that's the MVP too. Now he's not a crazy point booster, so don't expect to be getting like crazy high points. Like, I don't even know, like all them other, like hybrid Kaido and stuff. Unlike Big Mom, obviously, Battle Unit. Let's move on to the next game. All right, ladies and gents, we got game number two. Homeboy Oni Zola. Oh, we got a couple blue units. We're gonna need to transform real quick. Otherwise, we're gonna have that bad color disadvantage. But don't worry. Queen of Colors, finna be changing up. Oh, swap him. No, that's too. Dodge abuse, by the way. Okay, Mamba, that's scringe. I'll be real. For those of you that don't know what a dodge abuse is, it's when you dodge. Don't move your analog stick, and you'll be invincible for like one and a half to one second. So it's like, it's about there. So it helps really, very easily, very nicely. Now, overall, the unit's fantastic. He does have his weaknesses and status effects, but those status effect weaknesses apply to pretty much anyone who's not immune to status effects. So honestly, all three EXs it kind of applies. So he's very good at bowling defenders. I think his main problem, honestly, are other attackers. I've seen some good Zolos, but I've seen some bad Zolos. So like, if you're bad and you've been a hard abusing Shanks for the last six months, I'm gonna be honest, you're probably gonna be terrible at him. At least for like 10 to 20 games. Like, you're gonna have to realize how to actually play the game again, and you're gonna have to actually use brain cells in order to operate this unit a little more than what Shanks was. You not just sit there, oh my god, I can just walk up and kill anything and everything with my basic attacks, no matter what, it don't work like that anymore. You're gonna have to actually fight. Now, Mamba obviously cheesing and abusing people in the 2v1 situation. Wow, he just picked up that ham. Watch out for King. King's always just annoying because he can do that percentage damage to you. So, Kings will abuse you, that percentage damage. You, or no, you're actually pretty, you're like immune. You heal back some of the percentage damage, I believe, when you get that. He has this his boost trait, actually helps him out a lot. So, watch out for that character boost trait. I do recommend that. I think he heals back 4% when he gets hit by percentage damage. So, King won't do his full 40% damage. And I do believe that's how that works. Oh my god. Oh, that skill one. Or this, that was skill two. Jesus, I thought that was a skill one for a second. I'm blind. That's the skill one. The invincibility on the skill one is very useful. If you happen to mess up your dodge, you can always use your skill one to get out of jail free card. That's how EXs are. Is they just have an extra trump card on their books because that's how EXs work and have always worked. If they mess up their dodge, they can just use invincibility because they have it and no other units have it. So that's how they work. It's kind of just everyone plays EX now. So it's kind of just everyone has it. So it's a little more fair per se but yeah oh oh my god watch out for that king no dead too oh my god those basic attacks are beautiful i love the first basic attack honestly i almost want to say spam your first basic attack because once you hit an enemy four times which i think your basic attack was hitting for two damage like two two, two times you deal 10 percent of the enemy's hp bar as you can see not invincible hybrid kaido is one person i want you guys to watch out for the anti-heal on hybrid kaido can demolish you because you obviously don't get to revive you can't be healing back anything else and kaido gets damage reduction plus damage increase to you and whatnot i think the damage increase is a different circumstance or it is anti-heal i don't remember but either way he gets the damage reduction from you being anti-healed so that's just a dangerous thing but anyways let's dive in let's look at next game all right here we go ladies and gents we got our next and last game we're going to be fighting Uta. Uta's a big person to watch out for. Brain dead unit. All she has to do is get your juke out, your your dodge, and she can pretty much kill you. Obviously, well, you have your skill one. You can use her invincibility. So if you mess up your dodge, you can use your skill one. But watch out. She, she may be playing mind games with you. You got to break her shield first, and then she's not too hard to deal with if you can kill her. But the shield that protects her is what makes her so brain dead. She has her shield plus her skill one, and she automatically kills you if she hits you with her skill one. So watch out for that. That's the one thing I've not seen a lot of Zolos use is their charged attack. If you press and hold your basic attack, you get that charge, that extra swipe that kind of helps. Kind of like Diamante. Him and Diamante are the only two people who have it so far. 
it, they're usually a little bit awkward. I think the range, to be honest, I feel like the range is not that impressive. So it's almost more worth to use your normal basic attacks. The charge attack, just because it takes longer to go off. So I think it's... It's just, I feel like it needs to have a little more bang for its buck. Plus, it knocks him down way too easily. So, it's it's, it's really not that worth. Oh, my God, that range. Oh, that was a 1,700. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Now, if Homeboy tries to get us, we can always change color. We're obviously demolishing him pretty easily. There's no need to absolutely change color. Save your, save your skills might as well for when you actually need them. That's one thing a lot of Bounty Rush players do not do is hold their skills for when they actually need it. They just press skills just to press them. If you're fighting a 1 HP target, don't go using your skill. I will do it sometimes if you know they're going to run away. Like, if you need to get it to catch an enemy or something, because you know they're just going to run away and then come back and heal or something, then it's definitely more worth. But, oh, this will be interesting. Let's see Zolo versus Zolo. Come on. Color change. Swapper no Jutsu. Oh, okay. Let's see a Mamba out damages. Oh, my God. Oh, the damage reduction. Oh, and even better. Oh, my God. It's pretty much like Roger versus Roger. Whoever uses the skill to last is going to win. So whoever uses it first. I don't know why that dude did that first. That was an interesting choice. But, you know, hey, that's his gameplay. Not my. Oh, it's whatever. <laughs> Mamba outplayed him. You know how we do. Oh, my God. It's going to be easy. Oh, my God. Oh, the defense. Oh, my God. Look at that. Defense buff, free low. The damage reduction, too. It's going to be so hard for defenders to truly kill him. People keep playing this, Captain Kid. Oh, my God. Oh my it doesn't even knock him back, either. Like, I believe the Yasaf knocks him back, so it heals him back. But, oh, my God. The damage is buffing. Yeah, no. So, Luffy set is honestly probably one of the better sets because it gives one of the most damage increase metal sets in the game. So, I would recommend the triple Luffy set if you have it. Now, there are two different Luffy sets. If you would like to run the Wano version, it will put you more oriented towards defenders. So that would be the Rocks medal that we currently have for the event medal that is currently going on as of 127, 2023. So you can run Rocks medal, Luffy Taro medal, as well as Onigashima Luffy medal. Those three you can put together. Or, I pro that one's not as good, but if you do have it, I would recommend the... The other Straw Hats, but you have the Time Skip Luffy. Not Time Skip Luffy, you have the, dress the Lucy medal. Which is the Dress Rosa Luffy and Law duo pair. You have the. Okay, Lucy Metal is the event metal. Let me words. Let me clear this. So you have the Law and Luffy Metal. Luffy. You have that one. You have the Lucy Metal, which is the Dress Rosa event one. It's pink. And then you have the. What's the other one? You have another Luffy Metal. I have it right here on my screen right here. Let me look at this. Let me pull this up for y'all. Okay, the other Luffy Metal that you could potentially run is. The Bounce Man, Lucy, and Luffy Metal. This one's actually really good. If you have that Lucy Metal, it rounds it up. If you don't have that Lucy Metal, it is okay. You can still run these two. Just fill it in with another Luffy Metal. You can fill it in with whatever Luffy Metal you choose. And it's actually one of the highest damage increase metal sets you could go. And since Zolo's only missing damage increase, he has 30%. But that's like a base 30% that every other attacker has. So it's nothing insane. You have a 50% attack buff and you have 30% of damage increase. Plus you have the color advantage because you're almost always going to be color advantage. So that's like an extra 15%, which totals out to about 45%, right? So you can add and stack onto that and get probably about up to 60%, 60, 65% with metal sets, depending on how you arrange them, potentially even higher, depending on like whether you're up in flags or lower on flags. So things like this, and whether you're fighting on an enemy's flag, things like that matter. So anyways, that is like kind of the metal sets that I would recommend, and that's your options. All right, you guys, that is what we have. A big shout out to Mamba. Thank you again for the gameplay. I appreciate you. Homeboy's Whale with still 4,600 gems for somehow. That's crazy. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. I truly, truly appreciate it. And also join my Discord. I, I would love that too. Anyways, I'm for Room Puss, and I'm going to be taking off. Yeah, hurry. Peace, beautiful people.